Oh yes we are. We are going to make some paper snowflakes, but we're going to try some different items that we can use to make various shapes and sizes of paper snowflakes. So my first one is brown coffee filters. <laughs> yep, um, you can buy these locally. I ordered off of Amazon. So the first thing we need to do is count out how many you need, which I am using seven. And so then I just need to cut off that tip, just a straight cut, don't go up, go up too high, or it might be a little bit wonky, and hot glue gun ready to glue. So along, like an upside down T. So you wanna go in the middle, and along that bottom part and you just want to keep gluing them together. Now that we have them all glued together, we're just going to take a pencil or whatever you want to write on them and just kind of make mountains, just jagged little lines. And then next, we're going to take a pair of sharp scissors. Remember, you kind of want sharp because you have a lot of layers to go to. And now we're just going to use those as general lines to cut off the excess paper. take your two ends it's kind of like pockets with it being a bag so you can kind of put your finger or your hand in there to help you open it up and then you just kind of spread it out now this one will be a little bit thicker than a regular bag but oh my gosh still just as beautiful so a little bit of hot glue we're going to glue these two sides to stay together now depending on what you'd like to do with these, I think I'm going to actually put these smaller ones inside my Christmas tree. But if you wanted to hang it, just a staple gun, some fish line, and you should be good to go. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. Oh, I so hope that you are ready for some winter craft. Our first paper snowflake craft. I have a plenty more to come. I hope that I'm slowing it down. I hope that I'm teaching you um, by some of my fails, um, just because you see something doesn't mean you always can do it to reproduce it. So in today's video, that's what I'm sharing with you. I did these paper snowflakes last year. I absolutely love adding those brown paper, the white, the black into my home. Those snowflakes are absolutely gorgeous, but let's slow it down a notch. Let me share with you the process of making them and making them not only with lunch sacks, but other paper good items. So let's get it crafted. Did you all know that there were so many different types of paper bags? So these are just little goodie bags. They're just flat. Oh my gosh, they are so super cute. Come in multiple colors. I chose brown. I am a neutral kind of decor kind of person, but there again, I'm going to go ahead. And I think for this one, I only did five, just the way that these are and that it makes such a thick snowflake, we just went five. So the first thing we actually need to do with this one is put them all together, fold it almost in half, almost where that extra is, and then we're gonna start off with the same thing before, but we haven't glued anything together, and we are going to cut it into a V. If you noticed, I don't go all the way down to the folded part. I leave about, I would say, a half inch, three quarters of an inch, that way you have some substance still there. So now we're gonna go ahead and separate all of our five pieces. We're not quite ready to glue all the five together. First, we're going to glue our individual pieces together. And now that we have the individual pieces glued together, we are going to go ahead and glue all of them together, making that same T. As you saw, just gluing them together, we just needed the one line. But as we glue all five of them together, we're going to do that upside down T again. Okay. 
Okay, it's time for that reveal. Grab those two ends, put them together, and let's see what we have. The fun of making snowflakes is you can make them all individual. So again, I have that five bags, the same little snack bags. I'm going to fold them in half, but this time instead of making a V, I'm going to go ahead and make mountains and make little jagged cuts. So you can pencil it off or you can just eyeball it. So I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to eyeball it. Okay, so now we're going to your regular size lunch bags. Oh my gosh, these have to be my favorite size size because you can just go in and make so many little cuts to make them so beautiful. So we're going to start off with seven bags. We're going to flip those over and then we're going to start doing the that glue together of a T. Go down that middle, go down that end and get them all glued together. Really for the bigger bags, this is the general concept of the seven, gluing them in that T. And then I'm just going to make just a basic one. I'm just going to kind of eyeball center of the lunch bags. I'm going to cut down those corners in a triangle shape. And then that is it. So I'm just going to share with you how beautiful it is, even if you don't go in and make any notches. These are just amazing. And you don't have to be perfect. It's the perfectly imperfect. No snowflake is alike. Don't worry about your cut. Sometimes you glue it together. Sometimes you just have to pull that glue apart. <laughs> That's not supposed to be a glue glued together. But look how quickly it just makes a statement. Nothing fancy about this. Just some cuts on the sides. And if you want to hang them, depending on where you are, I tried to use the poster little putty stuff, but it didn't work. We have textured ceilings, so I ended up having to put a small tack in my ceiling, but you won't even know the hole, and I can, I can, <laughs> I can fix that. But it's just a simple staple on some fish wire, but even though you staple it on, you still need to double knot your fish wire because the fish wire will just pull right out of the staple. These are so lightweight that you don't have to worry about that staple falling off, and just give yourself some extra to stagger them when you're hanging them up. I have another set of seven. I've already glued them together and so now we're going to show you making some cuts. I did a few for you all for a little reference if you want to make some fancier snowflakes. I thought it would be fun to share a little picture and then what it looked like after it was all spread out.
So I hope that I slowed it down. I hope that I gave you some inspiration. I hope it gave you little cheat sheets of how to cut different types of snowflakes using different types of paper bags. Um, I'm still on the fence about that coffee filter if I love that or not. So I had to rewatch that TikTok and going, yeah, I'm not sure if that really worked out or not, but one time out of 12. <laughs> anyway, so thanks again for watching today's video and I hope that I have entertained you. I hope that I have given you a craft to do yourself at home or with your grandchildren, your children, just a group together. It's just fun. There's just something about those snowflakes hanging off the ceiling that are just Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love it. And you can leave them up a little bit longer than the holiday season. So thanks again for watching, guys. And as always, if you're part of our YouTube family, thank you so much. And if you're new and you're checking out this content and you enjoyed today's craft, hit that subscription button along with the notification bell so you know we've uploaded a new video. And we will see you next time, guys, and you can see what we're up to. Bye! <laughs>